Good day everyone and once again we meet just to discuss that last question from the DBE November 2021 uh, paper. <clears throat> uh, so uh, for those of you who are new to the channel welcome and uh, for those of you who still need to subscribe please just hit that subscribe button and uh, if you want to uh, if you need help rather with uh, you know mathematics or physical science you've come to the right place and uh, you can just uh, you know send us an email and our email address is info at mlungisinkosi.co.za right so we are looking at the electrolytic cell okay uh, and for those of you who are still yet to write the IEB exam uh, obviously uh, this I, I hope that you found this quite uh, helpful Okay, so let's have a look at the first question. They say define the term electrolyte. Uh, rather, uh, so remember that the electrolyte is a uh, soluble salt solution or it's a soluble solution, okay, that conducts electricity, okay. So, uh, yeah, I'm not going to write that down, okay. So, uh, 9.2 says, uh, is the pure uh, chromium, okay, so they've given us, uh, there's our, uh, cell there okay they said uh, simplified electrolytic cell used to electroplate a ring so remember when we want to electroplate we're going to put the pure substance here so that it uh, um, you know it uh, ionizes okay so that it undergoes uh, uh, you know oxidation in that case um, and in this case uh, obviously the chromium ions are going to um, now go into solution and now uh, those chromium ions in this case um, are now going to undergo reduction there and they're going to now form around that ring and it's going to uh, be covered with chrome in this case uh, you know of course we want it to be bling bling money ain't a thing right <laughs> right so in this case uh, we say is the pure chromium metal the anode or the cathode of the cell and uh, they want us to give a reason for the answer now please remember we want this guy to undergo uh, oxidation okay the loss of electrons so that we can get those chromium three plus ions there uh, so obviously where does oxidation take place it takes place at the anode so our answer to that okay so for 9.2 we know that it is the anode okay and they said give a reason okay because oxidation takes place oxidation uh, takes place there okay all right or oh, it undergoes oxidation yeah all right so 9.3 um, they said to us uh, write down the half reaction that takes place at the ring so remember those chromium 3 plus ions okay so CR 3 plus ions now receive those electrons remember this would be uh, you'd connect it to the negative side of the cell okay so receive those electrons okay so it undergoes reduction and what do they become they become chrome right um, so in that case we get uh, CR okay right and uh, you know just wondering perhaps uh, you might be wondering where would you be able how would you be able to get that uh, reaction let me see if I, f I can find chrome here um, okay CR3 plus ions okay there they are okay so it would be this reaction over here so CR3 plus Three electrons and it becomes CR and in that case can you see that it was negative so it doesn't like going that way but that's why we put that electrical energy there to force it to do so okay uh, remember the uh, the energy conversion that takes place in the cell is from electrical to you know to chemical okay so you are forcing a reaction to take place all right so the last question okay oh that was uh, quite quick and simple all right they say calculate the total charge transferred when the mass of pure chromium changes by two grams okay so 
uh, we want to find out the charge transferred. Okay, so let's first calculate the number of moles of chromium ions, uh, um, I mean of chromium that are formed. So I'm going to say number of moles is mass divided by molar mass. Okay, so uh, the mass is 2 grams. Okay, let's check the periodic table quickly for chromium. Um, in this case, I get 52. Okay, so I have 2 divided by 52. Uh, 2 divided by 52. And in this case, I get 0 0.038. Uh, 0.0385 okay moles all right now um, if you note this because we're looking for the charge remember when we're talking about charge we're looking at you know electrons look at this in our reaction it simply says uh, for every one chromium that I form how many moles of electrons would I have used I would have used three moles of electrons so i'll say the number of moles and uh, please note this is not the number of electrons we're getting to that okay so the number of moles of electrons in this case would actually be three times the moles of uh, chrome so this would be three times um, uh, that amount 0 0.0385 okay uh, so I'm just going to multiply that by 3. Okay, so I get a value of 0 0.11, um, yeah, 54. Okay, so I've just kept to the original value. So these are the number of moles of uh, electrons. Now, I want you to keep in mind that uh, electrons are actually particles, right? And when you are looking at number of moles and particles, uh, I just want to show you there. Uh, the equation that we would use when we're looking at number of moles and particles we actually use what we call Avogadro's number okay so what you're going to do is we know the number of moles of the electrons we want the number of the actual electrons okay and uh, we use Avogadro's uh, number which is uh, 6.02 times 10 to the uh, power 23 right so now uh, I've got the number of moles of those electrons, okay, so in that case I would say n is equals to, so I want the number of electrons because I want to calculate the charge divided by Avogadro's number, okay, so I've got 0 0.1154, I haven't removed the entirety of that value there on my calculator, okay, would be the number of particles, which is the number of electrons in this case. Okay, let me just write that out. So this would be the number of electrons, okay, divided by uh, Avogadro's number, which is zero, uh, 6.02 uh, times 10 to the power 23, okay. Um, obviously, if you go through my stoichiometry videos, I actually go through that, okay. Uh, so number of electrons, okay, in this particular case, so all I do is cross multiply. So I'll multiply that value by 6.02, okay, to the power 23, okay, uh, and I get an amount of 6.95, okay, times 10 to the power 22, uh, electrons so those are the number of electrons that are given right uh, that are transferred during that uh, process but now please keep in mind they said to me I must now calculate what the amount of charge uh, that's transferred do you remember uh, in electrostatics when we get the number of uh, charge or, or rather the, the, the number of electrons we usually say this is charge divided by the unit charge of an electron, right? So now we've got the number of electrons. We want the charge, but we know the unit charge of an electron. So in this case, to get the charge of an electron, of course, we're going to uh, cross multiply. It's going to be that number there uh, of electrons multiplied by the unit charge of an electron. 
which is 1.6 times 10 to the power minus 19. Okay, uh, so it's going to be n times e. Um, we're going to say this number here, 6.95 times 10 to the power 22 multiplied by uh, 1.6. Now I'm going to keep this as positive because uh, obviously we know it would be negative charge and so on. Okay, we're not necessarily looking for the polarity of it. Okay, times 10 to the power minus 19. Sorry about that. Uh, times 10 to the minus 19. Okay. And um, because I still have this value here, I'm just going to multiply by 1.6 um, times 10 to the power minus 19. And I get an amount of, whoa, uh, that's a huge amount of charge, hey? Uh, I get an amount of 11,113.85 coulombs of charge. Okay, uh, please you can verify that for me and see that uh, that is exactly what you get as well. Okay, so that was the number of electrons that we had. Okay, and from those electrons what we did was... We just wanted to find out the charge and that is how we would answer that question. All right, so I hope that it made sense to you. Uh, you understood it, okay? And essentially, that would be our 150 marks uh, in total. Um, obviously, you can check how you fared on that one, okay? So, um, yeah, uh, I really, really enjoyed, you know, this paper. Uh, Look, wasn't really the easiest, but uh, of course, I mean, for those of you who've been following our channel, I'm sure it will, it, it will be uh, quite a walk in the park. All right, and uh, thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I will be posting less in this case. Uh, I will be taking just a bit of a break. And thank you to all of you. Uh, hopefully you enjoy your holidays. Okay. And for those of you who are still yet to write your IEB exam, um, we can still assist you uh, on the days coming forward. Uh, or also uh, in this case, you can uh, just make use of this channel uh, so that it can really assist you, um, you know, as you prepare. Okay. So otherwise from me for now, I will see you guys next time. Eta.